Hello there, folks! Welcome back to Battle Brothers. Last episode, uh, not the best, but today... Today, we're feeling refreshed, we're ready to go. But first, I want to go to the training hall and invest in some of our low... low tier boys here. Make sure they can... See, I think we like the veteran lessons. It's really good experience gain and it lasts for a good couple of days. Four to six days. Thousand gold? Seems worth it. Let's get Ozpin up with the veteran lessons. Let's get Reeve with the veteran lessons and Froggy. Three thousand gold, but I think it's I think it's a fair investment. Iggy's already close, so is sort of Chubrek. And I think the rest of the experience are just gonna get by Osmosis slowly but surely. We've already looked at all that. Okay. So, I don't know what we're going to do today. We haven't been to Talberg or Tal itself in quite some time. They have armors, weaponsmiths, and stuff like that, and maybe, just maybe, a, a job of some kind. So, I think, I think we might go scope it out. What's this? Brock the War Dog into a local fighting circle. Nah. I don't care about that. Let's keep moving. Boy, I cannot wait for that DLC this month. Later, or oh, well, I mean, it's almost November. It's not quite November, but we're getting there a little bit. Come on, into Talberg, let's go. Lovely. Let's check the armor. No, nothing fancy there at Weaponsmith. Woohoo, what's this? A mace, huh? That doesn't look very good. It looks like it barely has a damage bonus. On top of another mace, but we don't have anything to compare it to. Nah, I don't. I think we're just gonna give a pass on that. The one-handed weapons, not so good. Not unless they're absolutely astoundingly amazing. Let's get these tools though, and we do need some food, so I think some grains and butter will be nice. Let's also take a look at anyone to hire here. We have an adventurous noble for. Pretty good amount of money there. Adventurous Noble. I think they have a... There's some... They're decently high up on the... On the chart, I believe. Oh yeah, tend to have high resolve and melee skills, but often neglect ranged defense. Hmm. I think spending the money on the cell swords. If we're going to be spending lots of money, probably waiting for cell swords and... Um, hedge knights is probably because they, they usually cost about that much anyway, so might as well spend it on the good stuff. Let's go to the. Is there anything special around here? Come on, place called Blood Wolves Court Forest. Most people know about it. If you, yeah, that's not very helpful. Okay, what kind of work do we have? Gobos, ah, crap. Gobos for a thousand? Nope. That sounds awful. That sounds absolutely awful. Let's head on down to Tall. Tall might be a waste of time. We're gonna get there at night. Probably. Well, maybe we'll get there, like, actually by morning. That's perfect. We're doing just okay. Let's just wait outside for now. Ah, right. New ambition. Take on goblins in large numbers. Sounds like a nightmare. Beat other mercenaries in battle, it's a little too late for that. However, the Walking Dead are a terrible curse upon man. Let us burn some of their I think this gives us an amulet that makes us immune to fear, which is pretty strong. I forget what we get for taking on goblins in large numbers. I think you get an amulet that makes it so you can't be rooted, which is pretty decent as well. Or stunned, or I think just you can't be crowd controlled. I think is like the the takeaway of that. So undead or goblins? Well, we know that there are more uh, the goblins. Their camps seem to be a little bit few and far between. But we know, we've passed by a number of walking dead areas. I guess let's let's take that because we have to beat yeah we have to beat a good number of them. Anything here at the armor? Whole lot of nope. Ooh, a thief. Let's, let's take that thief. Take a look at him in a second. The collapsed fortress by the name of Prophet's Pamphlets? <laughs> Are there undead there? 
Ob oh, obtain profits pamphlets at collapsed fortress. Uh, that seems that seems like it's not a big deal. Let me check the marketplace. More tools. Salt. Uh, let's just get the bread. I think could pass on the rest of this. Yeah. All right. Nothing terribly exciting, but I guess we didn't really think there would be. However, let's take a look at our thief. He's Craven, which is a deal breaker, and Iron Lungs, which would have been very nice. But minus 10 resolve, that pretty much makes him unable to be in a melee. Iron Lungs, let's see hit points, fatigue. Hmm. I mean, the range skill is okay. I spend the cut purse. Minus 10 resolve. Always content with being in reserve. Hmm. Well. It could be a backline, brother. The iron lungs, I mean, it's really good. Maybe we'll try once again to build a throwing brother, despite I don't think they're nearly as good as a crossbow or a bow, but... Hmm. I mean, we could just try it again whenever we have the time. We'll keep him for now. It's not like he's painfully expensive or anything. 11 daily, and he is content with being in reserve all the time. So we'll hang on to him. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Let's, uh... Rotting Bones Rest. When was the last time we fought Ancient Undead? That might be a good stop. Although, ooh, man, Ancient Undead in the Forest, can you imagine? That's uh, a little bit nasty. If we're going to go all the way out there, let's uh, let's buy some more food. Well, all they have here is grains. Lovely. I guess, I guess that'll just have to do. It's really far from civilization, so it could be pretty tough. Could be rewarding. So let's head on out there. Let's, uh, let's get into some trouble, I think. And, hey, here we go, Bleached Bones Tomb. We don't know what's in there, but undead, most likely. So we got our archers, we got our pikes, we have a whole line of great swords. Really want to get some of our newbies in there. However, if there's a necromancer. Let's see, Froggy is got his training book. Instead of Iggy, why don't we put in someone else who's got their training book? Reeve, perhaps? Yeah. Maybe instead of Night Warg, we put in Sir Tubrek? Is there a way we can sneak Ozpit into this? Not really. If there's a lot of undead, I'm gonna want all these great swords. It's the only way we're gonna get this done in a timely manner. I really want to be ranking up Ozpin though. These crossbows are just amazing. Well, let's just get in there. What are we up against? Aha! Uh -huh. 17, and we see almost exclusively fallen heroes. Interesting. Who is that? Is that a necromancer? Interesting. Why don't we get closer? There is a necromancer in here. Where is- There he is! There he is! Let's start shooting at him. Nice. Very nice start. We'll probably want to charge and use the bush as just a way to increase the size of our front line here. 
It's a lot of fallen heroes. Be nice if we get something out of this, wouldn't it? Let's... Sir Tubrax down here. So let's make sure we have more great swords down here to support him. Yes, everyone's going to just run right up. Get more tomorrow over here. Seems all well and good here. Boy, I feel much better than I did last episode. Big apologies for that, but nothing bad happened, although we wasted a lot of gold. And I'm sure I haven't, uh, it's uploading right now, and I haven't read any of the comments, but I'm sure I'm getting roasted right now, or soon, regarding the old uh, $10,000 purchase on a garbage weapon. Ah, fighting axe, okay. Bane? Not quite. Let's get Bane over here. Necromancer is exposed for now. Nice. That Necromancer is definitely going to be dead next turn. And... Uh, I should have moved Mortimer. We'll be able to. We go, we're going to go first next turn. Apollo? Come on, Apollo. Yep, no more. No more of that nonsense. Is there a great sword down here? No. We can have Bane just step in. Let's go after this one with the axe. Not a fan of that guy. Bobbins? Yeah, let's just start. Let's just start working him over. Vorander can actually swing here because there's a bush. So that's nice. We know Vorander's really, really good at swinging. Froggy? Yep. Let's get Mortimer over here. Just increase the radius of our coverage. Dando. Yeah. One down. Song. I don't think we're going to have to use Rally at all, so we'll just stab stuff. Hey. Reeve? Reeve is not in threat of any splits from this hero, so let's just start helping out. Oh yeah, the Militia Spear is doing their thing. Markham? Markham could swing. It's another benefit of having your uh, your tank step out a little bit. Sir Tubrak? Can we have Sir Tubrak hero mode to the side here? Yes, we can. That gives Bobbins more room for activities. Hmm. This guy's swinging at his own friend there. Not anymore. On Cohen, how about we do some damage there as well? I don't think this battle is going to be threatening in the slightest. Fallen heroes, not much. Not much to worry about with the fallen heroes. Unless, I don't know, unless he just really can't get that Necromancer. In the early game, definitely. Fallen Hero is very scary. Blast through here, a nice split. Mortimer? Why don't we just apply some damage? Dando? Uh, probably wise to go after the axe. Those things do decent armor damage. Sir Chubrak. Sir Tubrex just fighting one fallen hero there. Let's just pass and see what happens with him. Oh yeah, he comes back without a head. That's lovely. Let's keep putting some arrows in this one. Or at least overwhelming him. We can't get Apollo in here. The risk of a split is too great. Let's just get some arrows. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully he doesn't come back again. Let's swing with Bobbins. Yep. Three hits on those. His defenses are probably excellent right now. Mortimer, 55%. That's not bad, actually. Let's do it. Froggy. Can we get any kills? No, let's keep going after this guy. No such luck. Sung. Just keep sniping those regular old weeder gangers. 
Reeve can probably do the same. I want to go after him, because I don't want to kill him. I want to save it so Markham can split and be hitting that fallen hero. Dando. Let's just go after this guy with the with the axe. So Trubrek, yeah, let's just put, put out some damage where we can. Markham, yeah, let's split here. Nice. Let's bring it down on this guy. Very nice. Forander, split. <laughs> split. So amazing. So amazing. It is the skill. Von Cohen. Another one down. We'll keep our position now, and if no one comes back, then we'll move in and start splitting. Or that'll work. I don't think we've taken any damage yet. Oh wait. Yes, the Militia Spear tickled us once, I believe. That's probably it for our turn, right? On Cohen? Yeah, let's just... Throw in another two-headed slash there. Is that the sword guy coming back? Oh no, it's Mr. Militia Spear. Let's do something about this axe again. Mortimer, sure. Froggy? 71%. Let's hold off on Froggy for now. Apollo can finally step in here. Help out. 43% from Song. Let's go for the 48. Bobbins, another swing. Fine. Let's see if that one steps in, and then we could take another swing after that. Reeve. Puts him down. Dando. Yep. So Chubrek, a little bit of damage there, fine. We're just, we're just powering through it. Barander, yep. Markham doesn't have enough juice for a swing or a split. Let's recover. I think he's gonna need that in the future. Von Cohen, miss. Man, imagine if all these fallen heroes were alive. This would be a, probably a uh, totally different battle indeed. Wow. They're really, uh, they're really going for the gold over here, aren't they? Let's go after this fallen hero here. Or maybe not. That's alright, too. Bobbins, another swing. Bobbins is getting pretty tired. Dando. Yeah, another one down. A lot's coming back. Bane, let's get some arrows and overwhelms into that one. I don't like it. But it's gonna go down pretty quick by the look of it. Song? No such luck from Song. Let's see if we can do something about that. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Markham, let's take a swing. Or... Perhaps a split. There we go. Apollo. Some overwhelms, some damage, fine. Mortimer. Mortimer's doing okay. Let's just wait with Dando. Sir Chubrak. Wow, puts him down. Porander, split. Nice, more damage on that one in the back. Warrender also gets Killing Frenzy. Bobbins, I think it's time for a rest. Von Cohen, split. No. Negative on the split there. Damn zombies. Another hit. Wow. Well, they're gonna, they're gonna roll them every now and then. Dando. Let's just recover, I guess. Orander. Doesn't kill him. Damn it. Oi, oi, oi. Froggy. 76. Miss. Bobbins. Ready for another swing. Yep. Puts one down. Puts another down. Song. 43. Yeah. Of course she does. Aiden. It's gonna happen quick now. 
Now that we've kind of worked off all their armor here. Reeve? Yep. Markham gets one. How about a swing? Yep. Mortimer? It's just going to be quick now. Just leaves her chew back where he is, just in case. One Kun. Miss. Vorander, time for a rest. Man, Vorander can just go for a long time. Dando, let's step in. Help out. Froggy's already done. Good lord. <coughs> Excuse me. Froggy, 71% kills him again. Dando, another one down. Reeve struggling up there a little bit. Just had Bane get some new arrows and take a pause. Uh, Apollo 2. So Treebrack just finds himself waiting. Mortimer, let's move in. Go on the attack. A little bit. Just rest with our brothers down here waiting for waiting for trouble to arise. On Cohen, Markham. Very good. Damn it, looks like we can't quite end this now. That's probably all? No. Good lord. The fallen heroes just never stop coming. Bobbins. Eh, puts him down again. Orander, step in. Puts him down. Get some arrows up there. No luck. Another one down. Reeve, step in. Gets him. It's just... There we go. Finally, it's over. No levels, because the Sundead are really just not worth it to fight, usually. But we got a bunch of these helmets. Well, that was extremely not lucrative, but let's keep moving. Rotting Bones Rest, here we come. That's going to be something else, I think. Ooh. There's been a recent patrol leaving. A plethora of ancient legionaries and a few necro savants. That seems like, like, dangerous. It seems like dangerous to me. First of all, we're not going to have archers. Definitely not going to have archers. Second of all... Why does Reeve have a great sword? Oh, for fighting uh, orcs. Second of all, the pikes are not good to have either. Let's take the long the long axes off our. Yeah, we're gonna need long long axes for the ancient undead. Um, maybe let's see. Let's get let's get Horus in there. Night Ward or Iggy. I don't think Iggy needs a great sword as well. Probably a spare tank. This is going to be really, really dangerous, I think. Mostly for song, but I don't know. I mean, obviously we know this is dangerous, but we haven't had a good challenge in a while either, so I think... I think it might be entertaining to get in there anyway. And if there's a plethora of ancient legionaries and necro savants in the forest, there could be something shiny awaiting us. We're gonna have to form a kind of a defensive circle. A lot of our gear needs to be fixed. Can we, perhaps, get Song on something a little bit heavier? Oh, that's a bit much. Song is going to need the Brawny perk, I think. Because I do want to have her in really, really heavy armor by, by late game. 
but it does way too much damage to our fatigue. I think we'll do that. Let's get Iggy just in something for now. Can we put these in? No, you can't. Okay. Just, just thinking about storage. Okay, I think we're ready to fight Necro Savants and Ancient Dead. A plethora of them. It might not be as hard as I think, but this is a forest that we're talking about and maneuvering could be difficult. The question is, do we want to wait a full day for repairs? Maybe. Maybe that's a good idea. Let's go out here. It's already nightfall. Let's just get some repairs done. Three tools. Yeah, I, let's just stay mobile. I don't want to get ambushed out here. Start going back. With Necro Savants, we haven't fought them, I don't think, in this uh, in this season. Okay. Let's see what it is. Hmm. We don't see anything, which of course is not good. If we don't see anything, the, the chances of them not coming at us are pretty high, I think. Let's just skip one round for now and just see if they do anything. Oh, they are going to come at us. Okay. Uh, not good. I just pressed the end turn button. I was actually like 90% sure that they weren't going to come at us. Because we've, we've fought skeletons in the trees before and they didn't do anything. They just stood there. How are we going to do this? Um, our back line is a little bit soft. I think I sort of know what we're going to do here. Let's have our tanks kind of make make it so that here, I'll, I'll just I want to make it so no matter where these necro savants go, they're either going to have to fight a tank one on one or go like four against one. That should significantly increase our odds, I would hope. Let's search Hubrek out here. And of course, all the great swords have to stay on the front line to fight the skeletons. Maybe this isn't going to be as difficult as I thought it would be. Hmm. There's only 17 opponents. Usually when I think Plethora, I think a little bit more than that. Oh, yeah. Here they come. They're going to hit, um, yeah, Froggy right there. That's not a surprise. What it is, though, is annoying. I was really hoping Froggy would get to go before that. That is extremely, extremely bad. Bobbins, do we want to swing on the Necro Savant, or do we want to split on the Ancient Legionary? Damn it, Froggy. All I had to do was get Froggy right here. But Night Warg was there, so we couldn't quite do it. You can see how they just totally ignored everything else. Hmm. So Trubrak's gonna have to pull some sort of heroic maneuver there, I think. These pikes are stupidly dangerous. Stupidly dangerous. These Necro's fence are annoying. Seventy-seven percent chance to hit a Necro Savant, though, is just nice. Let's let's do it this way. Hopefully, the melee defense from the 
Oh, he's also confident, which is just excellent. Warrender. Just hopefully the the swinging melee defense covers him from those pikes pretty well. Froggy, 45% chance. Ooh, Froggy's also in range of this legionary as well. I don't like that. Yeah, Froggy's in, in some serious trouble here. I don't want to lose him. Let's go after the shots we know we can hit. Nope. The rest of our tanks need to stay in position for now. Dando, let's split. Nice. Let's go for that 65 from Reeve. Good. Horus, 86. Nice, okay, great. Follow it up. Markham, how about a swing? Well, things up there are going very well. Let's start getting night work down here. Song, 48%. She only has a pike. But I don't know, with health like that, she might actually make it happen. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to rally Froggy. No work, no luck. Sir Chubrak, very, very sad. Very sad, I don't like this. Froggy has to survive just one. Well, they might, they might all ditch him, we'll see. One Cohen, puts one down. Ah, okay. Yeah, very good. That's okay. We're okay. Good, good lord, that hurt. Wow. That was painful. Let's keep Vorander here. See what these pikes do. Mortimer? No. All we can do is fight back with Froggy here. Miss. Bobbins, let's split. Start working on that Legionary in the back. Ooh, they're going for the shield bashes. Not a fan of that. Reeve, 53. Nice. That one's on his way out. Dando, split. Two more down. And I think I want to go here with Dando to... Just give these Necro Savants something to think about, basically. We need to get them out of here. Now the question is, God, 150 armor damage from that Necro Savant. If I go in here with Night Warg, Night Warg is going to get locked down. And then Song is going to be wide open. But now that Dando is there, this one might might think better of his situation there. So I think we're going to have to put Night Warg back here. Because Song is the most important character kind of in the group right now. Because we don't... We have no replacements for if she goes down. Markham, split. Nice. Can we just hit this one? Nice. Yeah, we're, we're just going right through him. Horus, 77%. Why don't we... Get out the old pike. 84. Boom. He's dead. Let's get Horus down here now. Start threatening these Necro Savants. Wow. That is extremely low percent chance from Sir Chubrak there. That's just indomitable. Sir Chubrak doesn't have rotation yet? Ah. Wow. That's a priority, isn't it? Let's see if we can rally Froggy. Nope. Froggy is really not feeling good today. Let's wait with our swords. Yeah, here they come. Oh, yep, they're gonna go after Froggy. Oh. Oh, no. I don't like that one bit. Let's get Fortander down here. It's time to start going on the offensive. We don't have any dogs to drop in the area either.
Von Cohen? I think we can step in with Von Cohen as well. Step in, swing. One down. Okay, here's the... Yes, he leaves! Okay. It's all about managing that... Necrosavon desire to live. Froggy needs to relocate, though. Absolutely. Mortimer? Just keep Mortimer where he is. He's doing great. Vorander, now you have a new buddy to fight. Oh, yeah. I think he's now realizing the error of his ways. Where he can stay where he is. Leave Reeve where he is. Leave Reeve. Froggy? Where can we go that's super safe? Probably over here, despite... Despite there being a pole arm there. But I think you can take another shot. But... Either way, you're going to be in some sort of threat. So let's just go where it's least threatening, I guess. Bobbins. Nice. 289% misses from Bobbins there. Let's get Horus over here. Horus is definitely going to get hit by that pike, but you know what? <laughs> Worth it. Oh, we can just get out of there. Dando? Yep. Sir Chubrak. Let's just keep holding that one down. I don't think that one's going to want to give up the high ground. Nice. We finally rallied Froggy. Maybe that'll give him enough defense to avoid this. No, it wasn't. Damn it. Von Cohen puts it down. Hmm, Froggy's in danger. Let's rest with Markham here. I have to be very careful about the way we move. I don't think a necro that Necro Savant is going to jump in here. But I don't know. Maybe he might go full suicide. Let's reduce surface area that they can get to him in. Yeah, he just, he keeps, wow, one of those hits didn't do anything to Sir Tubrak there. That's nice. Let's keep closing the gap here on, on Froggy. We have to protect him. Vornander, let's step down. Lock down this Legionary. Start really putting the herd on him. I think we can have Reeves probably step out here and help with this. Markham can step up. Really? Okay. One's down. We're taking some damage. Froggy, of course, I'm just getting killed, but I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, there's... He, he looks like he's going to be okay. Horus, let's start getting that one. Yeah, Horus not so hopeless this time. Dando? Ooh, let's split. Damn it, really? Oh, that, that had to have been like a 95% miss right there. Sir Chubrak? Just keep... You're doing great, buddy. Just hold him down. On Cohen? I don't want to move on Cohen because he's protecting Froggy there. Can we rally? No, Froggy's had enough today, I think. He's tired of uh, songs, false promises. Bobbins? Yeah, put another down. Yeah. All we need is one hit on Froggy and he's gonna die, so... Very carefully deal with this. Boy, Sir Chubrek. Vorander takes another down. Let's go back to Froggy. Reeve? Nope. 
Let's wait with Von Cohen Markham. Doesn't quite put that one down yet. Horace is now now he's been hopeless. I think Bobbins needs a rest. Dan no. Very good. About time. Dando's too tired to even move. Song, it's time for her to recover. <laughs> Sir Chubrak, bust out another Indomitable, please. Now the way we fight this next one is going to be just carefully done. Sir Chubrak finally uh, holding up. Bobbins can stay there for now, Night Ward. Let's see, who can we get down there? Reeve? Puts that one down. Let's step him back. Let's start getting Markham down here. Horace, another good hit. Dando can get in there. If we do, he might run for it. So let's just step here, and then next turn we can step and strike, and then maybe take him down. Sir Tubrak running out of fatigue. Bobbins is kind of guarding Horace and a Froggy as well. We'll get Froggy out of this. Oh, good lord, imagine if Sir Tubrak didn't have Indomitable. Necro Savant's on the high ground, despite Sir Chubrak being like one of the up and coming best tanks ever. Devastating hits. Horus? Yes, we're almost there. Let's get Markham down here. Dando, step in. Puts him down. Froggy, Reeve, Bobbins, all levels. Those are all good things I want to see. And we get nothing, really. A golden chalice. Big sack of coins. And I guess a little bit of satisfaction. 50 tools. It's not too bad, I guess. Reeve. A nice plus four, a nice plus three. Good stuff. We'll probably just go with the fatigue. Underdog? Why not? Just training. Bobbins, yeah. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Sure. Ooh, Bobbins is really, uh... He's really getting there, isn't he? And a poor Froggy lost all his armor. Plus three, plus two, not the best. However, plus four fatigue. Excellent. Mm hmm. Oh, all those strikes and... Interesting. Well, underdog. Gotta get that battle forged. That would have helped quite a bit, wouldn't it? Let's get Froggy out of the line and put Iggy in. Just, just for my own, just in case something goes wrong, basically. Two out of four on the undead. We're only 45 minutes in the episode. Why don't we go do some exploring? We have food. And since we have to just repair our stuff, wandering around is probably... 12 undead. That's not a threat. I guess we'll continue seeing what's out here. They're probably forlorn, lost, that now that their home has been ransacked. We stole their golden cup. What's out here? Another mountain, that's good. Hergash Gall! Ooh! That, my friends, is a legitimate... Nasty place, a plethora of orc young, many orc berserkers, a few orc warriors, and a warlord. That is a battle there. Do we have the tools to fight it? Yeah, our, our front line didn't take really any damage in that fight. 
But I'm not I'm not gonna walk in there unless we are fully, fully repaired. Can Search Your Back upgrade his helmet? Let's do it. Or maybe Bobbins should. I know it's the goofy looking helmet, but I think I think it's a good thing. Is there anything worth repairing? Yeah, let's fix up these. These sell pretty darn well, if I recall. The pikes? Uh, not so much, I don't think. Not worth the tools. That looks like it could also be in a forest, which may not be the may not be the best. Let's just continue exploring for now, and we'll come back to it. But yeah, I want a hundred percent status on all our brothers before we get into that mess. Cause that is going to be a mess. Then again, last season we didn't have like an entire front line of great swords ready to just kick ass at a moment's notice. Ooh, there's a there's an undead spot over there. Let's go check that out. Tomb of many crows. How many? We don't know. That seems like something we should do though. Let's let's see. Let's get Night Warg out. Let's get Horus out. Get in our bows in case there's a necromancer as usual. Probably good to go back on our pikes. How's Froggy doing? He's alright. We still have some space in our inventory. The food situation, not good. So after this, we're gonna have to go back somewhere to get food. Probably Force Fest, really. And then, and then I kind of wanted to do that fight. Anyway, let's, uh, oops. Is everyone okay? Front line? Back line? Good, everyone's ready. Let's get in there. Sparse, sparse trees. Nineteen. Lots of boulders and a little bit of high ground. This is gonna be just annoying. Just very annoying. And then there is there is a necromancer. Let's uh let's actually just wait. Okay, now let's step up. Where is he? Oh crap. Getting a pull out of that high ground might be extremely important. But can we overtake Markham? Markham can get there. But he can't get here. It's not good. How rare is this little predicament? Let's, um, let's move up as quick as we can anyway. So if there's a Necromancer, we need to be aggressive. Perfect spot for Reeve. Sir Chubrak, fine. Hmm. There, okay, <coughs> there's definitely a necromancer in here somewhere. Getting to him is gonna be a nightmare. But Cohen can't quite get to where we need him to go. But we're gonna have, what the what the plan is is to kill good lord the camera is not it's going everywhere. The plan is to kill this zombie and then Von Cohn can step down and Apollo can take the high ground and have an advantage on Mr. Necromancer. 
Let's get bait in here. Between these boulders and Vorander. It's probably a pretty safe... There he is! Good, we know where he is. Apollo cannot get any shots, however. What if we get him here next turn, maybe? Iggy in here, sure. Dando. Bobbins and Vorander have lots of swinging space in there, so Dando, I think, is going to have to go there. And I think we're... Given the terrain, we're in a decent spot. Bane? Damn it, we can't... We can't get the Necromancer from here. Very unfortunate. How about from here? Yes, we can. Apollo? Maybe if we aim. Okay, Bobbins. Time to make the magic happen. We're just going to basically fight fight all this crap off. Vorander. Let's, let's wait for Vorander to get surrounded. Reeve? That one's fully armored with mail, but zombies and just mail take forever to kill still. Dando split, of course. Oh, we didn't get damage on that fallen hero, sadly, but I suppose I'll take it. Markham, swing. Nice. I guess we could get Song in here, because the archers aren't too useful there. We just no. So true break. Yeah, just put some damage on. Von Cohen split. No, double miss. Ninety-five percent. Okay, so true gonna be busy for all. Oh, this one steps in to protect the necromancer. Not a fan of that. Good thing we brought some excellent marksmen. Vorander, uh, I guess we'll swing. Dando. Best we can do is a hit. Okay, super zombie. Whiffs all his shots. Very good. But now we have an actual issue going on. Ben. No good. Apollo, ooh, still can't hit him, really? What if we go here? Huh. I don't want to go here because this stupid zombie is going to move in here. Why don't we, let's move Iggy here. Iggy can deal with a zombie right here, and that should give Apollo room to step up and get some damage in there. I think we'll do that. Just... oh. Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Mortimer? Sure. No. Seems like an ideal fight to, to keep testing that bug that we talked about last episode. Reeve? Let's keep putting damage onto that fallen hero. Four enders, swing away. Nice. Bobbins, another swing. Oh, three dead, but we know they're all gonna come back, so let's just, let's just wait for them. Song, puts another one down. Wow, we just cleared it out over here. Dando. Let's get Dando around the side and setting himself up for a uh, split. And Sir Chubrak's going to need it is indomitable. Mark him. Nice. Tons and tons and tons of damage. Von Cohen. 
Let's, now that we don't, we're not going to use that high ground for the archers. Let's just keep Von Cohen up there. Oof. So Chubrak getting worked over by that mace. That's kind of what we expected. That's why I used the good stuff. But now he's got too much fatigue loss because of that. Oh, there's a surprise over there. Paulo? Oh, still same turn. Let's step up. Now we can start taking. There we go. Good start. Very good start. This one's moving up behind us. Thinks he's clever. Bobbins. Yeah, we're at the end of this turn. Let's just... Although, Von Cohen... Reeve? What's Reeve's melee defense? Probably not as much as I want it to be. No. Boy, his melee attack is amazing right now. I think we're going to get Von Cohen down here. Lots of lots and lots of zombies coming back because we had a very busy turn. Good man, Reeve is getting tired. Let's keep taking shots at that necromancer. Yes, come on, one more bin, two shot. Guys, yep. No more trouble. No more trouble out of that fella. Let's just start putting down zombies. Iggy getting his berserk on Mortimer. Nice. Reeve. Nice. It's gonna clear out really quick now. Let's step in with Dando now that we're all set up for splits. Oh yeah. I like it. Song. More damage. This one's like fresh. Huh. It's been just milling around the whole time, Fordander. Has this one moved yet? No, let's, let's just kill him anyway. Mark him, let's take a breather. Boy, Sir Chubrak is just getting worked over. Let's have Von Cohen just wait for this one. Yeah. Sir Chubrak and not enough juice to... Indomitable again. That's not good. Then again, now that the Necromancer's not making super zombies, he's probably not going to get hit as much. Yeah, more. More zombies. So many more. Apollo. Just make that one sit down. Bin. Wow. Guess that's all the arrows we're doing. Iggy. Let's go after that fallen hero. I don't like him. This fallen hero is totally fresh as well. Let's put him. Start working on him. Reeve. Just kill him again. Song. 43%. Uh. Yeah. Let's go for that 43. No. I would have killed that one, but Bobbins is set up here for a lot of killing. Mortimer kills him. Ando split. Lots and lots of damage output. Or Ando split. Nice. And Cohen's making it happen up there as well. Ooh, took a shot in the head. Chubrick. He's back at it. Bane. Always bring archers to the undead fights, basically. Gotta have them. Just conserve air, uh, ammo now, though. Look at all these confident flags. The only one who's not confident is Bane, despite his amazing two shots on that necromancer. Reeve. 68. Nice. I think he's just putting out that damage. Mark him. Yep. Keep working on him. Mortimer. Kills him again. Dando, we could still split. Oh, man. 
But it's I think it's time for Bobbins to take a break. Branders still has some splits in him. Another one down. Ouch. And I think we're just gonna round out attack spam until this is over. Who knows how much more annoying these uh, fallen heroes are gonna be though with their returns next round. No returns. Well, isn't that just nice? Let's put that one down for good. Or hopefully for good. Bobbins, time to start helping. That's not helping, Bobbins. Step in with Iggy. Mortimer, break time. Dando, no more, no more of the splits. Let's recover. Von Cohen is just doing a grueling one-on-one -on -one over there. Vorander needs a break. Switch two break. Ah, let's just save ourselves tools and repair time. Let's get the song up here. The archers, yeah, no, not necessary. Let's get Mortimer in here to help out. Bobbins. One down. Let's get Vorander up here. Dando. Not quite, but close. Miss from Reeve. Iggy. Puts him down. Von Cohen, please. Puts him down. What's. Oh, we still have one over there. Did I know he was there? I might not have seen him and just passed with Vorhander. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I think I just moved in and stopped or s I don't know. Markham? Yeah, see I passed with Markham and he's got full AP. I didn't I didn't see that guy. I think I passed with Song too. Hopefully ah, damn it. Of course, there's always, there's always one more. Bobbins? Yeah, he knows how to handle that. Get Mortimer in here. Put him down. Nice. Iggy gains a level. Well, that wasn't... What's this? Midjar Bertol's Defender. That's actually a good shield. It's got the toughness of a kite shield but it actually has the melee defense of a heater shield. The fatigue on it? Excellent, wow! We found something. And it's, I mean, it's not like amazing, but yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it, why not? This season has been so good to us. It has to do with the map seed. I'm, I'm like 90% sure. Who's, who's gonna get it? So Trubrak and Mortimer are just amazing on that fatigue. Let's uh, take Iggy's level. Plus three, plus three. Oh, that is oh, plus four. Glorious for Iggy here. It might save him. Maybe. He's not going to be the best striker. But we've, we've put this much effort into it. I think we'll probably just keep him around anyway. Level nine with Iggy. Reach advantage, perhaps? Sure. Where's our where's our fancy new shield? All of our tanks have pretty excellent defenses. And Sir Chubrak, it's gonna save him a little bit of fatigue. This is going to be excellent for when we go up against goblins. It's just a good shield. I think... I think we're going to give it to Sir Chubrak because he has the lowest range defense of all of our tank bros. And I also kind of like him, but... It's going to go very well with his fatigue. He's going to be a very, very high fatigue tank. 
That range defense is nice. We'll just have to remember not to use it against orcs. Let's repair some of this stuff while I'm looking at it. Blanched mace, sure. So we have some stuff to sell, at least. But we are going to be homeward bound. It's going to have to happen. Let's get on down to uh, Force Fest and then we'll just kind of probably end the episode. But I'm hoping next episode we can get to Hergash Gall, unless we spot another undead spot. Oh, yeah. A necromancer, lots of armored weeder gangers, and some fallen heroes. We should just, just get it out of the way. In fact, we'll probably go there. Let's rest the night. We'll start next episode with this battle, I think. Unless something happens, like, right now. But, oh, that scared the crap out of me. We lose ground grains, not good. But we have enough we have enough food to to make this happen. A lot of repairs, very good. Who needs repairs? We didn't take any damage. Why are we doing repairs? Oh, it's all the crap in our inventory. Duh. Vile man's retreated. Necromancer, lots of armored weeder gangers, and some fallen heroes. We gotta... It just it has to happen so we can get our next... I don't, I don't want to fight just a million zombies. It's so annoying. It just has to happen. With all the undead stuff we're fighting, though, it does seem kind of like the undead thing's coming, but I don't, I don't know if that's how it works until it, like, actually starts. But anyway... Wow, good episode. We found a shield. I didn't screw everything up, like, last episode a little bit. I think it looks kind of neat. Looks neat. But I have found a, a lot of special shields, and they were all terrible. Every single one was terrible. I'm just glad that finally we have a shield that's not worth losing. More durability, too. Very good. Anyway, come on, close. There we go. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one.